Hey guys and welcome back to season 19 of AOR and it's round 3 this time and we are in uh, Japan uh, and uh, as you can see right now I'm in P7 I've been struggling to get to grips with this track for some reason it just doesn't work for me on this game uh, and it's been a real real issue in my practice here I just can't seem to get any pace uh, I don't really know why I don't know what I've done uh, to make it uh, to make it like this but hopefully we can still uh, do well in qualifying uh, as we've got Diogo up in, in front he's been uh, been very impressive so far I think he's done a 27.8 or something like that he did even a 27.5 I believe in practice so that's very very impressive for for our tier at least but I mean we're not going to be fighting him this race unfortunately I don't think we're going to be battling for the lead like we did uh, back in Britain last time and Bahrain as well so but points should still be on the board. As I'm looking at a 2 tenths improvement right now. I mean a low 28 will probably be the best I can do. It's still not been a perfect lap. But it's been okay I would say. Uh, obviously there's still more time to find. As we gain a little bit out of the exit here of Spoon. Um, so maybe we are on track for 28.4. Which would be yeah, it, decent. It, it, um, it says that we've got a purple sector there but I highly doubt that that's the case I was now gonna come across the track and what is it gonna be it's gonna be a 28 4 so that'll put me seventh on the grid and here we are on the grid as you can see the five lights are about to go out and here we go um, okay start actually not the worst start I've ever done so that's actually decent as we need to got a better start than maxi boom but obviously the first corner is always tricky we're gonna try and see if we can make it round the outside I don't think so yes very 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 close there indeed but maxi boom just stays ahead as we nearly actually make contact there I think I did a similar thing last season where I lost it completely there so luckily we've stayed in the race this time as we've got giant battling with Jamil up ahead I can see that I think Jan may have taken that position, I'm not too sure. Um, as we have undercut behind us, who was actually won last time. A very, very impressive throw. So he'll be trying to follow that up with coming through the field, but hopefully we can keep him behind us. As we cut on later to lap. Oh, Shamil has had a big, big issue as we are going on to lap 2 here. Maxi Pony is definitely going to get him, but I don't know if. Oh, they nearly touched there, actually. As I'll try and go around the outside as well but I just couldn't make that stick a little bit annoying but hopefully just hopefully we can um, make that work next time but as um, we'll see Shamil he's very very fast but maybe we can as he's actually fighting Maxi Bone as well here and maybe you know they will crash out or something you never know and oh Shamil is just a little bit of a moment then we actually nearly make it through I think we'll have the move done if we can just get on the power no but a massive spin there and he's gonna get back at me I think yes he's gonna be very very alongside here and I'm gonna be on the inside I've rather been on the outside right now actually as this is very tricky and I actually yielded a little bit too much there as we nearly got Germo uh, taking that no that was undercut taking the position off me that's he are we gonna go side by side through sector one no luckily for me undercut he just you know backed out there i'm very gracious for that that could nearly have been a big 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 issue there uh, i will say that but a little bit annoying that i couldn't get Shamil, but he would probably again pass me anyway because he's that fast so now we cut on to lap six and i'm stuck behind maxipo and i feel like i have more pace than him but i'm just not able to make that move there i just need a little bit more for it to materialize but hopefully we can get him later in the race as I would be uh, would like to get P6 as I think that's definitely possible um, so we're still here on the back of him trying to get through we're actually trying to line up a little bit of a sling shot move here can we make a stick no the safety cars come out and that's actually gonna mean I'm gonna have to pit right now I think because of the strategy is actually P uh, lap 10 to pit so there'll be no reason to wait and unfortunately giant hadn't pitted yet which means we had to double stack so the uh, Renault crew just weren't ready for me so I've lost some time but it was all I really could do because had I waited another lap I would have lost even more time so I think we lost one position here to Diamond unfortunately due to that double stacking but hopefully we can make it up uh, later in the race we'll see as the Diamond just cut the corner there a little bit as we're gonna try and get a decent exit but I don't think so as obviously without DRS even I'm running 3-7 wings so 
I don't have the best straight line speed, but as you can see, yeah, I'm not able to make the move, but is there some one having a little bit of an issue up ahead now? I think they're going to be fine, but you never know going side by side in the first sector. It's very, very difficult, but uh, hopefully we can get past Diamond later in the race now. We caught on to lap 14 and we're still not been able to go past. As oh, we've had an incident. Who's that? That is a uh, kingly diagram who's gone off completely. And I don't know if you can hear it below me, but for some reason, my like group chat has gone through the audio recording and I do apologize for that so that might be a little bit annoying onto this I don't know if you can hear it but it's definitely bugging me right now as I got a warning there in the commentary process as we now nearly nearly on the back of uh, diamond here I think oh, still no DRS so we won't be able to get past but it's gonna be so so close I think Maxibone is fighting with Shamil up ahead are they gonna go side by side oh diamond is lagging and Shamil has gone wide and we've up into P6 right now and Callum behind us has followed through into P7 as well as he's had some incidents so far um, but I mean P6 right now is still decent still decent and hopefully we can make even more work of the people ahead but as you can see they're a little bit too far ahead right now as you caught on to lap 21 um, and we're still gonna try and catch a Maxi Bond who's actually had a big 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 moment and we nearly hit each other but we just make it past as I nearly went onto the grass there as well, so we are into P5 right now, and hopefully we can uh, we can hold on to that. To cut on to lap 27, I've gone a little bit over the curb here at Spoon, and I've lost a little bit. And Undercut, he's been on the back of me for a few laps now, and I think that would set him off perfectly here for a overtake. Unfortunately, is he gonna make it? Is he gonna yield? If, are we gonna go side by side through 130? And I, luckily, he yields there because that could have been very very bad but he's probably just lining up for the DRS overtake on the straight here so we'll need to get a good exit and I, oh I fucked up that corner and oh yeah this this bump on this exit has been bugging me for the entire race but we are in rich and overtake there's not really much more we can do what's he gonna he's actually trying to go on the outside that was very risky we nearly actually made contact but I just I'm not too comfortable defending into that first corner it just bugs me out really because it's you can easily oversteer into your or understeer into your the one you're battling with and I didn't really want that to happen. As we cut on to lap 27, it's gonna be P6. And we're gonna get up to P5 actually with a penalty from Diamond. But I think he's gonna try and get it removed uh, for sure. I don't know if he will, but it's P5 for now. It might be P6 later in the race. As you can see, Giant got P2 there unfortunately. And could have had the win, but I'm not I think Daigo was just too fast this race to be honest. And Bixie actually disconnected and had some penalty issue as you can see but still some decent points following up the p4 from last time um, but uh, hopefully next time i think it's italy i believe i can do even better because japan is one of my worst tracks so i'm very happy to come away with uh, you know potentially 10 points uh, you never know if i get that sixth place but um, congratulations to Gai daigoro on the win and uh, obviously if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment subscribe anything it's really appreciated and i'll see you guys next time.